Yo, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we got my boy Nico White. Um, really enjoy watching this kid grow up in the whole comedy game. Um, we talk about performing for rough crowds, uh, the importance of a dad and mom giving you guidance, uh, deviating from your, your life plan of being the best version of yourself, whatever that is, and not dating comedians. Um, That's right. Dope, dope, man. I love this dude. It's a- I, great conversation about just you know not so much relationship stuff but just priority stuff but life, life life stuff, stuff. yeah and listen, uh, thank you for joining us for the regular show, but we also do the Patreon, and that's where we do the bonus episodes and listener mail, and we do listener mail after this uh, uh, after this episode. It's patreon.com slash manschool202, and it helps to support the show, and that's where you get the bonus content. So join us over at Patreon when you get a chance. Yeah, and yeah, please do that. Support us on that. It, it helps us to keep doing what we've been doing. So if you like the content, please... Um subscribe i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man yo yo what's up y'all what's up square pimp brigade on uh gybb get your balls back wwdd what would dante do the sexual revolutions being podcasted and i am fucking excited um <laughs> nice. i know i've said that 500 times before but this time i mean it nice uh, finally Cause my dude is in the building. Oh man. Uh, first of all, Harry, how you doing? You ready to rock I'm and roll? I'm doing excellent. I'm I don't want to waste no time talking about you. Oh Jesus! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. The goat, man. What's We're up, not man? gonna talk about my excellent hair day. All right, fine. No, have time. no, we, no, we got time. Uh, Damn it. Let me let me introduce my my dude. Um, man. Uh, how can I say? I, I've known this dude since he's 17 years old. Yes, uh, starting comedy. As a young upstart, <laughs> <laughs> um, Comedy Central, just all kinds of shit. Put a dope album out. Um, man, I watched this dude grow from the very beginning, and I'm really, I Nico, I can't. Well, give it up for Nico White. Let's do that first, yeah, right? right? Family, um, thank y'all for having me. Pleasure I wanna, to be with you. I want to say, I'm, I'm re. I mean, I don't. I, I'm, I hope, like, I'm not overstepping my bounds because I. Cause I've you seen good? you since you was a a a, a child. Seven, a child. Yes, and, you met and, you met me when I was sixteen, not seventeen. 16. Wow, wow. I started when I was fourteen, not seventeen. Really? So and I didn't, Where were you at in, in when you were fourteen? Oh, bro, I was everywhere. That's the thing. So were you always first, in the, in Brooklyn? You was always you in New York or always? Always. Okay. Always. Okay. Born uh. and, born and raised here. So. When you met me was when I started coming around Times Square Arts Center, right? Okay. Right when we were doing that little group thing, right? Yeah, 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 and yeah. And that's why I first met you. I was 16, and I remember because you were the first person I ever seen that had that bone in their ear, okay. right? Okay, all right. And, but before then, I had been primarily just at the clubs, like Stand Up New York, Laugh right, Lounge, right, right, Broadway, right. all that stuff. Getting right. up and doing the thing, and that was um yeah always been you've always been dope, always been supportive of me. So uh, dog, pleasure you, to be here. It's just so dope to watch, like because when you see a young dude come in the game, you be like, mm, let me see if this motherfucker sticks it out. And I know you're kind of well, I'm I'm not gonna call you an OG yet, but you like it. You almost no, there. I'm, I'm I'm already I, I'm taking it. I you ain't, you ain't gonna call me at fifteen <laughs> years. This 15. Career, 15, yeah, yeah my man. Cur- my career is going to be a year older than I was when I started. That's in crazy. September. That's so crazy. Because, you know. I, I mean, it, it's like, I mean, you, so it, yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know what I mean. It's like so yeah. many dudes come in this game and then mm-hmm. they dabble in. And, and then there's, so there's a, there's a camaraderie that we have about, uh, uh, about us sticking it out. Right. Because it's hard. I mean, Ti doesn't think it's hard. Mm, no, but... <laughs> not at all. Um, yeah, I, 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 I wonder if he um, thinks that. I'm, pr- I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure if you ask him now, he would tell you that. He... I, I don't know. I don't know, Nico. I don't know that. After the fact, he didn't seem bothered by. It. I'll tell you, it seems hard to me to be Ti <laughs> doing that. I can't stay up there and get booed by ten thousand people. That seems hard. I've never done that. I... <laughs> I, hey, I've, I've been booed before. You know what I'm saying? We and all have. Had, we all have. Not by right. 10,000, so, though. T.I. got booed. Not by 10,000. 
T.I. I got had a put, Bronx 500. That feel like 10,000. That's, that's but yeah. uh, let me say this. T.I., Harry said this to me. T.I. Mm-hmm. has gotten booed in one shot more mm-hmm. than you have ever gotten booed in your whole career. <laughs> Combined. Cumulatively. Cumulative. <laughs> Gross and net. However you gotta, you, you gotta it, be a mathematician to, <laughs> to get that. <laughs> you ain't gotta be a what, Tom? The, the, the mathematician. You gotta know that. But here's what's crazy. Uh, so let's move on with this expeditiously. Um. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Shout out to the King of the South, though. King of the South. One of my favorite rappers. You, you King of the South rappers. Yeah. Rappers. Yes. Make that 100%. make that clear. Make Rap- that clear. Yeah. King of the South. I, you know what I was telling somebody? I don't know if I would have done the Barkley Center on April 1st. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, you want to do the April Foolishness it's a show? Different kind of. I would have. Yeah. I would have. Yeah, man. I, I, lo- I love that energy. And yeah. even, even I've, I've, I've seen that room a couple of times. Like, yeah. I, w- I would love. Matter of fact, hey, hey, Rip, Rip, Rip Michaels. Holla at me, brother. Nigga, I, you, I, I, if you want to do it, I will I will plug you in. I will definitely plug you in with Rip. T- please do. Please okay. do. That's done. It, it, if, if the king of the South could do five minutes, I, hey, bro, let, let, let me do 10. That's all. I'm from <laughs> here. Didn't he Rip? Rip do it. Rip, I, Rip is my man. I grew up with Rip. Uh, I grew up. I came up with Rip, like oh, on the black. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's my nigga. But um, it, what I was saying to people is that there is a um, there's a certain there's certain styles that lend itself to that kind of audience. So first of all, they're not com- They don't have the comedy etiquette. Second of all, it's fifteen thousand people. Uh, you don't necessarily have their attention. There's an anonymity of, of, of like you, you heckling doesn't, you, you don't, it's not a face off between you and one dude. Yes, it it can be, but it could be, you know what I mean? There's motherfuckers yeah. that came there for the chicks. There's motherfuckers mm-hmm. that came for the drinks. There's yeah. somebody bought like, so it's not a, it's not a, if you have a, if, it, it, here's the thing about your comedy. Mm-hmm. V- very nuanced. Mm-hmm. I mean, like you've been doing it 15 years, and so you've challenged yourself to 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 deal with the nuance of mm-hmm. of of comedy. Yeah, those audiences don't necessarily get the nuance because in order to get the nuance, you have to pay attention, and and then there needs to be a solidified kind of thing that this is. It's a big difference if. You're doing the Barclays Center, and they came to see Nico White, which I don't right. doubt. Let me open for you when you do that, because I, I know it's coming. All right. <laughs> you, hey, Dante, Dante, damn it! If it happened, you can go. I'm put. I'm put you out there first. Warm them up. The damn it <laughs> But From but you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a there's a nuance of sometimes the comedy is too sophisticated for the audience. I, I get what you're saying, right? But I, I have to be honest. I don't agree 100% just because okay. I, wa- I watched pieces of that show, right? right and again, right. I've, I've, been, I've been before. Yeah. Like, they, they're they there for the joke. So you got to do is satisfy them, yeah. right? Yeah. If you right. Now, if you don't satisfy them, you will get met with their dissatisfaction immediately. Yeah, they, don't, now, that's happened, they don't give that's you a happened. big window to satisfy. Yeah, yeah, that, they do that, give you a window. <laughs> But they, 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 bro, they give you a, they give you a nice window, especially when you look at like you when you when you look at what's happened at that show. But like, right, right. nah, th- th- those people pay they pay good money. They come out, they get That's dressed up. Point. Like That's it, a good it, point. It, it, it's it's black people spending their money to have a good right, time. Right, so they like, want to have you, a good time. They they come there for that. If you mess that up, that's on that's on you because they literally they came there like they sitting. Yeah. The, that's why you if you do get booed, that's why they booing so hard. It's like, nigga, come on, bro. Yo, I spent <laughs> all this I got money. My girl, this, I spent this outfit. This money I, don't got. I got this outfit on because you ain't want to get clowned at the show and yeah, then yeah. all and and then you know the New York energy. If you get yeah. at least three people from Harlem, where I'm from. I mean, the, they they boo with the Apollo just in their heart. It's in their DNA. Dude, here's a, I. You know what's funny? I, I say that all. I use that as, like, and this this goes to uh, uh, stay out of this, Harry. Uh, but this mm. goes to the 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 trauma of 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 black folks. Mm. We're the only group of people that c- created a show to boo people 
who are trying to follow their dream by people who don't have a dream. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. if you go to the Apollo, I, like, I've gone, I mean, throughout the years, uh, maybe about six or seven times. You, mm-hmm. I've been there where I've go, like, God damn, y'all, can you let somebody, can somebody perform? Can we, yeah. can we, can we let somebody, perf- because the, the intention yes. is to boo your ass. Right, and, see, yeah, no, man. No, go ahead, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut with, you off. All good. I was going to say where I feel like the intention starting out was probably way more pure than that, but you know how it is with the kids. They, they only see certain things on TV, so if all right. you saw the Showtime at the Apollo was people getting booed, then that is what you go for. And right. then, if you go to the Apollo, you know, the the TV host ain't usually the host because amateur night still happens every right, um, right. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that person creates that vibe. So I think this is before I started, but they used to have it to where they wouldn't boo, like they boo anybody, right? right. Then they made a rule where you can't boo kids. Right. So the Apollo like amateur night can be tough because they had I, to make I, a I would, rule. They had to make a rule. Don't boo the kids. Well, yeah, don't, Listen, don't, don't, don't boo the hey, kids. Don't boo the kids. Because but again, you gotta you gotta think about it, bro. A lot of the time you got people coming in, they bring the people from out of town. People be yeah. people be bored just being there watching yeah. shit they're not interested in. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. So yeah, we created that show, but I'm sure that the mission of that show wasn't to make it as like oh, no. dangerous as it is. And then no, no. You, we all do stand up. There's sometimes when you go, it would be good if somebody would boo in here every night again. I, I, you know what? I just would to keep rather, some people honest. I, I would rather just, I, I think the silence is, that's, yeah. you know, when you watch a motherfucker go 10 minutes in silence. I think yeah. silence is worse than a uh, boo. No, a I don't. No, no, I don't, no. I don't never, agree, you bro. Ever been booed? Not like, by a whole audience, stage, no. Booed, Actually, like, no. Actually, no, I don't think I've yeah, been booed yeah. once, but. To watching you, you, it, I feel like you, you could fight back. See, you could fight back and scream at the audience when you're booing. You, you feel when that, they're right? raucous. When they're raucous, you can fight yeah. back. When it's silent, that's that's rough. There's nothing to there's push nothing, against. There's nothing to push against. <laughs> I've had, I've had. I, you I know what? I have silent. been. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have been booed, and it was a lot easier. I don't even. Here, I apologize how, for that too. <laughs> Nico, it was the booing was fine. The, throwing the fruit. Is unnecessary at me. The, the oh, tomatoes. No. That, no, no, no. I'm joking. Nico. Oh, uh, I meant you. I was saying Nico. Why did you oh, have to me. throw the? Yeah, yeah. Because you the, need the vegetables, man. That's yeah, why. That's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I do I need to you get. I appreciate back there, you couldn't get no vegetables in Harlem anyway. Yeah. You, oh, you can get the lemon. You ain't lying. I'll you say. I'll say that the few times that I've been booed, the one time was at a Chicago theater. It was fucking mm-hmm. nuts. But I was fighting back with them, and that, to me, I don't even remember that, whatever. That's right. just an incident that happened, because every once in a while you fight back with them, and you can win them back, or even if you don't, you still go out. When it's silence, and you're and all you hear is your fucking voice reverberating off the, the fucking... <laughs> you yeah. Can, yeah. Now, here's, here's the word, when you can you hear, hear them... The the ice oh, you hear them... Oh, when you hear the, the, the bartender scoop the ice out yeah. of the... <laughs> I'll tell or you the, the word. The fucking lights buzzing. Oh, the lights never, buzzing. Oh my the god! The lights buzzing, and the only thing that may be equivalent to that is when you hear the AC kick back on, like it's silent, mm-hmm. and then you hear the uh. AC or the heating unit turn on again, because it's been that long. That's Yo. yeah, that's worse than getting booed. Oh, yeah, hearing me, the I don't he, know. hearing the drinks getting dropped down oh, on yeah, the yeah. table and yeah. shit yeah, at, yeah. at your punchline if they ain't responsible. <laughs> like yeah. y'all, true true torture. That's like. That's like taking your pants down. Baby girl's like, oh. This is what we doing? You could have kept those on. <laughs> I, I liked remember, you better before. There used to be a comic. Do you remember Danny McDermott? Danny Name's McDermott. Familiar. I know that name. Yeah. Uh, he used to Damn, run the, uh, the underground up on 106, that little room. on. The mm-hmm. street. And that dude used to climb. Like, he had a, he had a joke. Like, like, so, the, the you know, the underground that had that rough wall yeah. in the back? He yeah. used to do this thing about uh, 90s songs being about stalkers. I mm. always feel like somebody's... And he used to climb the wall. As Love if it he already. Was, and and <laughs> he would bomb. But no. he would climb the wall all the way to the top, look over, and then he would yeah. jump down and you would be yeah. like, oof, oof. And he would commit 
to climb in the wall. He would rock climb the wall and just anyway, fuck it. Shout, uh, shout out to him, man. I had a joke that used to bomb. I, I kept doing it for a while. Yeah. It was about the Cambridge police. And I used to fall in, in the joke, right? And <laughs> this this one day I fell and I was on Donnell was hosting. I fell <laughs> and it didn't get a reaction, right? And like you could tell like the mic hit my knee when I yeah. fell. I get off stage, Donnell and that nigga fell and everything. Y'all looked at him on the floor. I was like, nah, we still ain't fucking with him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shout out to Cambridge Police. That joke died that night. <laughs> Ma- Neek, what, uh, how's the good ladies doing? What's going on? Because here's the one thing about Nico. Nico has always had a, a, a sense of self-worth that I thought was was amazing for as young as you were thank you uh like i mean i, I where just what was that mom or what, what how did you get there like that mom mom grandma and pops man yeah you your pops was around like, too your pop was around you or y'all you grew up with him or no yeah i, mean, I grew up in, in the same he house like, not for the longest time but uh-huh. i Always had pop, you know what I'm saying? Always yeah. had a good relationship. And it was one of those things where my dad was the type of dude that he very much felt however he felt whenever he was feeling it, right? Okay. Well, feels. Like, when right. he in his emotions, he in them, positive or negative. Right. And my mom is, like, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Bleeding heart. Like, big, 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 big heart, right? Okay. And they trained me from young to, like, set your parameters, like, People that you let around you do have to fit the parameters that you set up, and it's okay to make them fit those parameters. And if they don't, be fine with being just with you. Right, and for right. the longest time, like, man, I remember growing up, it was easy to be, like, just over here doing my own thing because most people were leaving me alone. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then as I got older, as far as women are concerned, it's easy to pick who I want in my space and right. who I don't. You got, like, brothers... Yeah, Sister? I got an older brother. Okay, all right. Yeah, just uh, one. Um, it, it's it was. I always thought that that was. I remember you did the show years ago. And yeah, it's been I, a minute. Yeah, and I've been talking to you. At, you know, talk, I remember talking. I remember thinking how comfortable you were in your own skin. Mm-hmm. At a and I mean, you did the show. You were young when you did the show too. I mean, yeah. I, I don't even think you were twenty when you first did the show. I, I, I don't i don't how old are you now i'm 28 now shit yeah man the fuck yeah motherfuckers is growing up on the show <laughs> god damn. i know i'm telling well, you. we got we got people growing up we've, we've got some guests that have died i mean it's you know when you do <laughs> we, 10 years <laughs> life moves on they don't give a shit about our podcast the you know the universe moves forward yeah <laughs> um but i remember thinking about saying man this is a young dude that's really really comfortable in his skin and i always say you know one of the things that i always say is if you think about great people in history and in life who's their best friend like who's muhammad ali's best friend who's michael jordan's best friend who's bruce lee's best friend and and i'm not saying that you can't name Mm -hmm. people friends that they fuck with yeah all of those individuals in that in that greatness there's a there's a loneliness mm-hmm. in that greatness. You know what I mean? Yep. It, it's yep. a it's you cannot achieve the the level of success you want without a level of selfishness. Yeah. Not in a bad sense, but yeah. that your achievements, your goals, and your happiness has to be important. More yes. important than anything else. Um and to, to the second thing that Dante just said about your happiness being more important, it's literally that, dog. Yeah. It's, li- it's literally that to where, be- and I, I say this and I mean this. Mm-hmm. I walked the path of the life that I chose, right? right? So everything I'm doing is something I decided. I was right. 14, a, a baby decided, I really like this joke shit. I really, really, really like it. I'm going to do that. That comes with certain things. And I made certain decisions that didn't even have to be made. I remember when I started, I said, I ain't never going to mess with no comedians, right? Here we are all these years later, hard as it could be sometimes. Yeah. Still to this day, clean of comics. Right, right, right. Yeah, clean same here. of them. Same here. Right? Yeah. 
Why did you decide have, that out of curiosity? Bro, I was I was coming in I was coming into clubs and I would see how the adults were talking about each other, but they were friends. You know what gossiping I mean? about everybody. I, ne- I never understood that. Then you yeah. see people in these loving relationships that claim to be loving, and then you see them separate of each other. And you watch you know, it all a couple go down. Months, couple years, and, and I'm like, Ugh, I would never, I would never want this. Yo, let me yeah. tell you. Let me tell you a quick story. It just makes me fix laugh. your camera, Dante. Sorry. Uh, f- fucking Kareem. Mm-hmm. You know, Kareem was married to his his wife was in comedy. I'm not gonna say her name and anything. But after Kareem and her broke up, she went on the ramp. Like, all of her material was about Reem, and he did da 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 Now, we all know Reem is a fucking beast, right? But he was he loved, he loved his wife, and he kept, like, <laughs> like I'm trying to keep it civil. Yeah. And then... One something she said and something he said something or another and 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 Kareem Boom. Kareem it was said the final straw. This is the joke that I lost. Kareem said, "Uh, you know, people say, uh, you are what you eat. So my wife, uh, must eat stink pussy." <laughs> and I said, <laughs> That's. And I was like, oh, you leave that beehive alone, goddamn it. Oh. Proper. Oh. What I like about that is it's mean, but the joke structure is proper. Perfect. It's just perfect you, the, joke structure. No. Edit on that. You can't edit beast. that. You can't edit it's that. Beast. No, <laughs> not at all. You tell you tell that just the way it's said every time and it's perfect. You can read it off paper. There's no nuance. Bam! Yeah. That's Strict to, oh god, I was uh, man, I still pee my pants. This is how good it is, man. And to y'all listening, make sure you look up the person you talk about. This is how funny it is. You said it, you delivered it from it because you know, like, there's multiple Kareems out here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you got to the word, I was like, I know exactly which Kareem you're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you didn't know who oh, I was Kareem talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, no, of course, of course, oh, yeah. it is, but yeah, again, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Kareem you Green, if you'd have you just guys... told me. You could have told me that line and not yeah. even mentioned everything else. I had said Kareem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Kareem um, is a beast. He's great, man. Big time. Big so time. now, oh, so are there? Uh, yeah, I guess there is, dudes. It's it's a weird thing with so Kareem has proteges now. I guess right, like dudes who are. Yeah, who, you. Who, the, yes, yes, man. That's the craziest and kind of the best part of like having some perspective now is being able to see that. You know what I'm saying? Being able to see like offshoots of like of other people. Yeah, but like of my generation. Cause look, look, yeah, man. Yeah. Start, starting now, you you think that only happens for like y'all and you know what I'm saying? Look, like, I don't you, even think of it like me. I mean, I, I think of it like Patrice, David Tell, you know what I mean? That but right, right. So boom, even that. Cause I, I kind of lump all y'all together in that. So right. that being said. I was so used to seeing that. So you go like, ah, we'll never, you always want to be those guys. You right, don't right. never think it'll happen. Right. Then when you go around and you start to see, hold on, wait, that's, that DNA and how he, this person's delivering, that's, that's so-and-so. <laughs> that's so-and-so. Holy shit, that sound like me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, here's a it, funny thing. It's crazy. I remember, here's a, something that bugs people out when I say this. I remember talking mm-hmm. to, Ted Alexandro, right? Mm-hmm. And yep. I said, Ted, who do you, who inspired you as a comic, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you could, I, do you know, do you know this or you don't know this? For who inspired me? No, 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 Ted Alexandro. Oh, his history? Yeah, come on. That's the reason we get to make a couple dollars. No, but no, but I mean, oh, no, I don't mean that. I mean, like uh-huh. comedy wise, artistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Ted. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so he, he said, I always admired. Um, Todd Barry, okay, and, and Dane Cook, which ah. is if you think about the connection of that, uh huh. Todd Barry, Todd Barry's that low energy. Dane yes. Cook is that so Ted is like a physical mm-hmm. low, like you, like how do you even put that together? You know what I mean? Like it, you wouldn't even yeah. think that that would 
that would manifest itself in the way that it did. You know, a hundred. Look, I, I uh, similar to that. Uh, Bernie Mac is one of my one of my goats. Goats. You understand? Mm. And I never would have guessed that one of his like his top five, and it had Don Rickles in it. Really? You could have gave me. Yeah, you could have gave me a hundred chances to, to name a hundred comedians. I never, ever, yeah. ever would have picked Don Rickles. Then once he said it, you go, and then you I actually watch. It. Yeah, it's so there. Like just, just look, little, little shit that he would do. You go back and watch Don Rickles' old videos. Watch what he does with his eyes. Then you yeah. watch Bernie. Just yeah, stare yeah. the camera yeah. down. Bring his yeah. eyes back. The infl- yeah. what? Huh, huh. And then you see Don Rickles joning on people with a, huh, huh, huh. all yeah. that shit. Yeah, I, yeah. Give some time. I be. I keep EFF. <laughs> so he is. And so I was. I was saying that you wanted to do so like. Uh, just hmm. always had kind of was really comfortable in your life. I remember we I remember when you did the show and you mm-hmm. were talking about look, I'm not like if I'm not something that I say we, I, I forget how you said it in your own words, but hmm. I was like I don't I don't do awkward. Yeah, no. Like, no, I, no. I, I'm not mm-hmm. if it, if you're making it difficult for me. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. What, what what got you to the point where you you thought that like at such a I had I had a couple girlfriends try to tell me how to A they were gonna kill themselves if I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And I got to the point of all right, you gonna have to do it now because you can't keep (laughs) telling me nah because fuck that you can't keep telling me driving my mind now I'm I'm telling you I I would be be it I'm gonna kill it it wore you out she's like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself if I don't get to pick the movie tonight. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get blamed. They're gonna say I did all this crazy, non-realistic shit, and then I'm like, but I don't need that. I can just say no, and it don't gotta be this way. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna cut this off, and then I decide to keep all energy like that. I cut off even my personal space. Like, I, if I look, I'm cool with everybody. I'll speak if you speak. No left-handed handshakes, none of that. But. I'm not, I'm not, I don't like awkwardness. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, one of those yeah. people, if we're going to have good energy, let's have good energy or let's not even talk. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah I'm it's fine alone. I'm fine being over here. I mind my business deeply. Mm. If you want to be awkward, say that shit for, I don't know, say that for the judge, man. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a weird, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 55 now and I always say, mm-hmm. uh, I, I've seen more sunsets than I'm going to see. And I'm not wasting them on no nonsense. And I mean, I I, I wish I had learned that sooner. Yeah. You know, um, I, I initially, my first, you know, m- uh, elevation of my maturity and understanding that time is the commodity, uh, uh, you know, wealth and prestige and material things. None That's of those things great. can be yeah. attained without yeah. time. And so Fast. waste wasted time takes away your opportunity to achieve all these other things yes. that fulfill your life. Um, but initially, mm-hmm. I remember I was about 30, 35, and I was like, I'm no longer going to um, let people who don't, that take something from my life, from my existence, right. and give nothing back. I'm going to start right. eliminating those people. Yes, fact. Fact. If they're if they're neutral, that's fine. That's but, fine. But then when I realized the next iteration of that was now I need to remove the people who who don't add who are, who are neutral. Neutral. Because yes. Because n- neutrality is still a uh, 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 it, it carnivores of time. Yes, and with, you with still, no return. Yes, and when you neutral, you still a part of the war. Yeah. So you ain't helping me. You ain't an ally. You right. sitting here watching me fight, and again, if I wanted somebody to watch me fight, I'd stand in front of the audience. Right. I don't need friends like that. Right. Either you right. with me or you not. Because I, what you just mentioned, man, I had to do that with my circle in 2020. Really? I realized, man, look, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes your mama will tell you something, and the shit won't punch you until it shoots you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, my 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 mom is a you know she's born in. She'll hate me for saying it, but she don't look her age. She was born in 59, right? Okay. And mama told me something last, last um, right after the pandemic. She said, you know, 
She said, I don't know how you're going to take this, but don't tell everybody your good news. I said, why? Because she don't ever heard me, you know, like talking to friends. She said, yeah. don't tell everybody your good news yeah. because yeah. they ain't all happy for you. Yeah. yeah. She said, now you'll mess around and say something and you don't know. You just, you know, you, she said, you like me, you speaking from your heart. Right. But they hear that and they'll pray on, you know, she believe in all that. Like they'll sit down and they'll pray on you and they'll pray on you. Information is vital. Don't tell them shit. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about that. Then I th- I started seeing patterns pop up. People mm-hmm. that were friends. Right. Now, when I'm not, I'm going through my own shit. I can't get no space to go through my shit because I got to go through their shit and go back right. and go through their shit. Right. right. And it's like, oh, wait, nah, that's not how this works. So that same thing that I apply to relationships about how I don't do awkward. Yeah. I need to bring that over here and then right. come to find out. Yeah, there was some snakes in the grass. Yeah, but we yeah. cut most of those motherfuckers. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, you know, I, I've always realized that, um, that so as, as much as I've become, I, I've evolved in a sense of, and I'm 55, so I've evolved in a sense where I um, eliminate, like I cut the snake's heads off, but I, yeah. I've learned to understand that... Um, to be more understanding of Mm -hmm. where it comes from. Like, first of all, you know, like, like I, you know, I grew up with my dad, but my dad was, um, my dad was born 1920. Right. Ah, right. And he was the youngest for my grandma. Right. Right. And well, here's, he was the youngest of 16 kids. So I got, I had an aunt that I grew up with that was in 1896. That's crazy. So, like and my grandmother is before that you know so um and and wow. i understand because I, you know i got i had cousins even when i was when i was like eight i had cousins that was 60 60 you know, yeah 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 of, um but so the, the my issues that i had with my dad mm-hmm. was you know i had to i had to look at it in retrospect of he grew up in 1920 he grew yeah. up in Jim Crow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Historically, we're talking about segregated, separate water fountains, Jim Crow. So the fact that he didn't have the ability to teach me self-fulfillment because he was too much surviving, just trying yes. to su- you have to take that into consideration. And, and that's what gave me relief about his inability to... Can, can we get that, like... And I don't even need it for me. Right, Can right. you get that that clip just now and we'll put, put it that up. somewhere? Yeah, because yeah. you just described a lot of things. You ain't yeah. just described how you was raised. Yeah. You just described the people that grow up in what's called the hood and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people become, people get traumatized by situations they have no control of and then start putting, putting responsibilities on things. And it's like, I'm from what people would call the hood, man. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. real you realize quick, it's like, oh shit, it don't gotta be this way. Somebody yeah. told y'all this is how this is. Yeah. And yeah. thus you've kept it that way. But they it's also a situation yeah, where they, just they can't get even, it like that. They also the can't time. see beyond that too. Yes. So it's like perspectively, when you go, well, just it's sort of like the bird cage being yes. open and the window yep. open, and you can't and you like just fly out and they go, What you what do you mean? Just, just fly out. Just don't like you'll say s- simple shit. I and my look, man. I got you know the family that you you know you try to talk to and shit. You be like, yo, you know you can y'all can talk about this thing that you're ready to kill for, yeah. right? And the thing that they'll a lot of them will come back to as far as like their relationship with their parents is, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they only understand it when they're with themselves. They don't understand it when they're talking to that parent. You know what I'm saying? Wait, they wait, don't get the... you lost me. I'm, I'm give me a un... got you. So remember Flush how you out. said? Remember how you said you understand how and why your dad couldn't teach certain things because yeah. of what he was going through? Right. So coming from places like where I'm from in Harlem, right? Right. You have a lot. Where of you kids. from in Harlem? Where about? I'm East High. So oh. all all the shit that um, Jim Jones and Dipset rap about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So. I've, I've been able to see what these types of environments can do to people and what that lack of understanding of how and why 
can do to the kids. Right. What you just explained, now mind yeah. you, like you said, you're a 55 year old man, mm. but that's freeing for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For the young kids that feel like that, that's freeing for them because they right. get to have that relationship with their pop. But right. a lot of them, they don't get that because it's like, well, fuck what you're going through because I'm going through this and ain't nobody yeah. here to show me blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, y'all take that message and chop it up. People need to hear what you just and, said. And what, you know, I think what people are not uh, not also understanding, it's not just the the... the the, the trauma passed on, but it's your personal trauma on top of the yes. inability, the trauma of, you know, beating your kids and all, you yes. know what I'm saying? They're all this trauma on top, on top, on top. And so, the, you know, I, I, I have a, I have a good friend of mine who, mm -hmm. um, uh, Brooklyn cat grew up eighties, nineties, a couple years older than me. He yes. fell in every trap that you could smoke crack did yeah. heroin, uh, sold drugs, got locked up, penitentiary, armed robbery, you name it, he did it. He done it. Yeah. Foster care, boom, and then he works as a as a counselor for youth kids mm -hmm. doing uh, substance abuse. And yeah. and I called him up one day just on a, I was like, dog, I want you to understand something. That you are an X-Men, dude. Like yeah. every every trap that you could possibly you fell in and yeah. still came out. Like this dude has a house and a car oh, and wow, a job. Okay. And a so I was like, you don't even understand how extraordinary it's right. like, like, I mean, I navigated, walked through the raindrops, and I mean, I got caught up in shit here and there, but mm -hmm. I navigated didn't get all of them. Dog, he didn't stepped do all in, of he them. hit every pothole. That was <laughs> and, all the and, raindrops fell on him. And like the Incredible Hulk, he got angry and came through the other side to the point like that. People don't understand the resiliency yes. of that. You know, there's a resiliency. Of that, that you can't, that you can't even understand that that this dude is actually a functioning human being. Yeah. Prison. I've I've scooped this dude up out of crack houses, mm -hmm. like when he would get with a chick, take her. She'd let him because he was fly too. So he yep. get a car. He uh... bit, then the car would be parked outside the crack house for two uh -huh. weeks, and she'd be calling the cops trying to get the. And I, I would have to go in the crack house where I'd have my, yo, who the fuck is you? And I was like, dog, I'm not leaving without my man. I had to pull my man out of the crack house. Yeah. So it's like people don't understand how deep the trauma is and to navigate that and how when you don't have a. When you don't have a role model or, or, or a model to just navigate how it's so beyond yeah. your concept. I, I mean, even Harry, Harry's, you know, his family is Armenian and, and Mexican. And so what are you, Mexican? Ecuadorian. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> yeah, Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like knowing his pops, negative. Negative dude. Yeah. yeah. I survived my dad being the most negative human being in the world. Just everything yeah. that could what could go wrong, just three steps ahead of all the things that could go wrong. Why you shouldn't Dang. do this, why you shouldn't do that. I mean, they were both negative. My mom is no treat either. They were both his negative. Mom, but his mom is wild for the night, son. Wild, oh, yeah? for the, wild for the night. She's I gotta admit, I gotta meet Miss Trajani in there, man. <laughs> yeah, she's she's she, out of her mind. She, she, he has a, he has a. She ain't moving his, fast his, now. His girlfriend is from, where's your girlfriend from? Turkey or something like his girlfriend? Who? Oh, my dad's? Okay. Oh, yeah. She's, my dad's girlfriend is from, his wife now is from Turkey. Yeah. Oh, she's from Istanbul. Yeah. So she, my mom calls up. About, what happened? I thought you were talking about Harry. <laughs> no, 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 no. She goes, oh, he goes, she calls him up. Like uh, she still she torments voice, him. She, she still harasses my dad and leaves voice messages and she goes, uh, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Sultan Harry, Sultan, uh, yeah. that's beautiful. And then listen, you, you have your you harem. Were, you were with your there with your harem. You were there with your harem. I know it's <laughs> <my dad's>, Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, and he sends me the messages, and they are the most yeah. hilarious. 
Uh, Assalamu she... alaikum, Sultan <laughs> Hari. Listen, she called them up. It. They have some small business that they got to take care of just because mm -hmm. they had property. And yeah. just <laughs> she uses that opportunity to harass them every time. We've asked Parents. her to stop. We've told her to stop. She's out of her fucking mind. She won't stop. Yeah, sure. He's asked her to stop, but that shit is a part of his day now. Too. Like, stop <laughs> now it, it is. If, yeah. If, if, if bro, if she did, if she didn't do it, he'd be hitting you like, "Yo, your mom good? She all right?" And I ain't heard from her. Uh, yeah. no, no, well, no, it, no. I think they're past that now. Yeah, it's this weird. is past that. This is that yeah. one that's not that. She is out of her fucking oh. mind yeah. to the point where, listen. I might end up doing on one of those fucking Dateline series, you know, those true crime stories. If it goes down, she has threatened to kill him on. They'll use this clip, by the way. She has mm -hmm. threatened on several occasions. Oh, let me fix my lip there. Publicly and privately <laughs> to murder him. Uh, but, you know, she's Ecuadorian. She was, so, so it's a 50 50 like, shot. Your father give me herpes. And he goes, well, did you? What did you have that herpes? Means you have herpes. No, I don't have it, but no. he gave it to me. Your father, <laughs> he left me penniless on the street. I go, that didn't happen. I was you there. Have a I house. lived in that house. You have, you have an apartment. You're standing in your house right now. Uh, Yo, her. out of her, her fucking mind. Shout out to the goat, man. And the goat. <laughs> she is the goat. The goat of crazies. You had him. With your, all your, your harem. all of your contrabands, if I can pull one up, hold on. Yo, I, I, I want, I, I want somebody to think I got a harem. That's uh, what I want. She's, she's <laughs> off But it's, she um, did. Hold on. She did call the city on my dad's house, saying that he ran a whorehouse in the basement. <laughs> Legit. That's a shoot. Legit. My dad had to get a, a phone call from the city going. Yeah, uh, we got a phone call that you're running a brothel in your basement. Goes, what? I said, hell yeah, I am. Now come check it out. <laughs> 300 for 20 minutes. <laughs> hey, hey um, well, Nico, any gotta... girl now? You got a chicky now? You don't know. Oh, no, you're doing dolo. No, no, I'm dolo, but I am dating. So, yeah. ladies, if you want to holler at me, holler at me. I have no time, <laughs> and you cannot borrow money for at least two years. <laughs> That is a standard rule. I ain't standard lending rule. you nothing. You know, so you, know you what, deal with that. Holla at me. You know what's funny too, Nico? If when you hmm. when you make these standards, like people like the 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 the, the comfort in which you say that, right, mm -hmm. makes it okay. Like, <laughs> do, do you understand what I mean? It's like yeah. if you if you're willing to be honest about. Mm -hmm. I I remember this um, years ago. When Tony Rock first started doing comedy, which has to, um, he probably's doing it about eighteen or something like that now, seventeen, eighteen wow. years or something like that. But I yeah. uh, remember when he first started, he was like, "Look, you you want to hang out? You can meet me at the club where I'm doing shows because I'm trying to get this time. I'm trying mm -hmm. to do this thing. So if you yeah. want to fit into that, you can fit into that. And what what's interesting is how." how women find a man attractive who don't give a fuck about them. And I don't mean, <laughs> does, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. mean don't give a fuck about them. But I know that, exactly what you mean. That your, your goal is your goal and your ability to, to, to uh, achieve those goals are more important yeah. than them. Yeah. Because if you're easily d distracted mm -hmm. by them, by even them, then you're yeah. a pussy. Then in my in my last like six years, definitely that that thing has come up so many times. Just like, look, I ain't got but so much time. I'll be able to see you this day, but then it might be cold for a minute. But I'm see you, and it might be cold for a minute. It's come up that I didn't break what I said, and that I've stuck to everything I said at the top, and it comes off complimentary that first time, right? right? Then after about that third time where it's like, oh, nah, it's, he meant what he said. Yeah, right. all that. Oh, all yeah. The, all, this is a. That, oh, this you for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, Miranda for rights right there I, for everybody. Right. And then if it's cool and you keep going, then cool. But most times, it's like after that third one, it's like, really? So ain't no? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. no. Really? Mm -mm. Nope. Sorry. Well, let me ask you this, but even when Please. that when that when that line is indelible, mm -hmm. you still could slide in. They still they still yeah. float in, you know. They definitely like, can. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah. can. And they it, do. 
Mm, I for me anyway, I I ain't open like what's the phrase? What's the phrase we use? My nose ain't been wide open in a while. You right, right. And I mean, I ain't been yeah. like, like just oh, I ain't been in love in a in a minute. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't well, that, that's not it. true because you've been in love with this thing called comedy for a long, a long time. time. Like, <laughs> long time, yes, sir. And Big and I think one. what I think that you have to respect somebody. I hate to see a dude that treats comedy like a side bitch. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's like a, you ever in you, the in the green room when they're talking about yeah yeah I got two gigs on I I, I I I can't I can't, can't do it. I can't take it I can't no no you don't get it I can't take it the shit couple things that make me angry right because um I I don't know if y'all if you guys watched wrestling growing up but I, what, are you crazy yes R Ric Flair to beat the man you got to beat the to, to beat, beat the man, man you got to beat the man right absolutely so. If f for me, like little phrases like that always stuck since I first heard them as a kid. Yeah, but yeah. like I would see comics that had what you call regular real world jobs, right? Like they yeah. were gainfully employed, gainfully. Comedy was not their primary source of income. Now for me, comedy being a primary source has always been the case, right? Yeah. So yeah. I would hear these folks talk about comedy and bitch about it. Oh, it's, this is the worst of it. Is this, is that. And I'm like, Hold on, wait now. How much of this provides for your life? Then you find out, oh, nothing. Oh, oh okay. Well, it makes sense that you feel this way. Mm. Oh, you can be inactive for X amount of time. Oh, okay, I get that. But damn it, we aren't the same. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Live and die by the good or bad or whatever this playing field is. It's like, but y'all just playing on the field. Right, and some right. of y'all just playing because you want to say, oh, I do. But do you? Yeah. You need licenses, man. You need licenses or, or like, <laughs> well, you like know what? karate. Let me tell you something. I've, 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 you know, I, I've had a job my whole, like, like I'm getting ready to retire in another hey, three years. Hey, congratulations. But you have never not. Uh, there's no, I don't think like, I've never Nico's, not seen you on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think Nico's talking about that. I think he's talking no, about he's talking about talking about comedy. One, yeah, one taking foot in, one granted. foot out, and one foot in, it, one foot out, and, and then taking it for granted about it, bitching bro. about it. Com yeah, yeah. I, 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 one of the people that I had to cut off used to tell me all the time that he was uh, he knew the struggle of a professional comic, right? Because when bro was um something that happened in like was on unemployment or something like that. But I'm like, yeah, but stand up didn't, it wasn't your living then. It was yeah. never your primary living. You right, don't right. know that feeling. You yeah. don't know what that's like. You don't know what that, all right, if I don't get this, if this don't go and this don't go, if this snow fall too hard, damn it, I know that weekend over. Yeah. You don't have to think you about don't live that. Like that. Money is guaranteed, which yeah. is not a bad thing, but also. Then don't bitch. Yeah. You, don't bitch, cause comedy right. ain't do nothing to you. You was gonna have to pay your bills anyway. Right. You's gonna have with to go with this or work. not with that. Yeah. And that drop the mic on that. You gonna have to pay your bills anyway. Well, you it's know what's not comedy's fault. Well, what's real interesting about that is so like when when I was doing the male stripper thing, mm -hmm. I it was a really easy transition for me because mm -hmm. it's the same business. You you yeah. you create your character, you mm -hmm. market your character, your ability to work and to market that character and the, how good you are is how mm -hmm. you make your money. Um, I ended up I ended up working with the phone company because I had a, some chick I was smashing work for the phone company. She said they mm -hmm. given a test, and I said all right, well like I'll get dental, you know, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I mean, and I ended up doing it, and it ended up being being money. That I like the money was way better. Like when I hit top pay, when it was way better. Yeah. But I was so bit by the bug. Like I was telling Harry prior to the COVID, I have mm -hmm. never, I, I've never, I've never not done comedy for more than two weeks. I've never right. had more than two weeks off right. in 21 years of doing comedy. See? Whether or not I worked, I got up at six o'clock in the morning. I worked seven to four every day. Worked weekends, overtime. I would work overtime, yes. sneak to the club, do a spot, and then finish your be shift. back. Right, but, but I've also watched dudes 
take, you know, these dudes will take a break. Yeah. Like you take a break and dog, you don't understand that this this game, so your success, even I'm talking about you personally, your success mm -hmm. is has a lot yes, it's your ability to be better mm -hmm. and grow, but it was also the consistency of that. Yes. Yes. If Being stop, present. It doesn't work. It doesn't wait for you. Yes. You you can't be absent from class, man. And if, yeah. if nothing else. Whenever there was a position open, I was there. I yeah. I tell anybody anytime yeah. whenever I yeah. come up. I gonna lie, dog. Today. You was I as long today. as black like, from the day I saw you, the day I yep. met you, I never did not see you. You know what I mean? And it just That's all I'm saying. even for a dude who me who like was kind of you know older and you know it 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 there's a certain amount of admiration that you have for somebody who respects the game respects the yeah. art like you do and you've never ever ever not been that way and and, uh, and, and that's contact. what i love about you that's what i i mean and you know i mean you when i see you you know there's a always love you, and this you, is this is the thing y'all hear that thing in dante's voice he can't get the words out he <laughs> gotta remember he's 55 like he mentioned older yeah. black people the, all, all this love, it stutters them up quick. You know what I'm saying? So just it's, know that. It's know the cholesterol. <laughs> you can't get it out. Not, it. But yeah, man, all, always. And I appreciate you for not only showing love, but you did me a solid that I appreciated. I put a thing out in 2020 called Dark Out. Yeah, now, yeah, Dark yeah. Out is a special where I took a risk. There was, you know, audiences were illegal and we did it in a music studio, just a um, yeah, yeah. blackout curtain or whatever. And I've been, Lord knows I couldn't get any press for it. Reached out to everything that does yeah, yeah. write up some comedy, not at all. I had asked you to watch us. Hey man, check it out. You took the time out your day to check it out. Yeah, so yeah. appreciate you for that. Yeah, we po time. I posted it too. I posted it on my story and, yeah. you know, the, and tweeted it out and stuff. I mean, we got, you got him, man, because it's, it's, it's real motherfuckers that you wanna you wanna see. I mean, yeah. you really wanna see motherfuckers that are in the game for for the game that you want them to. You want to see them succeed. And if for the right reasons, and give a shit yeah. about it. And well, if you're listening to the show, man, like we need more people in the industry that are actually about comedy. Yeah. But like yeah. for real, you yeah. going to school and you want to do something dope. There's so much actual actual dope unseen talent running around here yeah you yeah. could make all the money yeah yeah you're right it's all out here it's all out here and people yeah. got nothing but ideas if you're yeah. listening to the show and you one of those type of motherfuckers there's some business out here for you yeah and now, the game is so money. the game is so wide open that it there's so many avenues nico i don't want to let me interrupt you because you got to get out of here Shoot, yeah um right, what yeah. do you want to plug plug some plug whatever you want to plug got you so folks please make sure to check out my album it is called marcellus m-a-r-s-c-e-l-l-u-s that is from a live show i did back in 2019 then you can check out my latest special it's called dark out d-a-r-k-o-u-t that is on youtube and it's completely different material completely different hours you if you want to go back to my older work check out my first special introducing me that I put on 2015 and outside of that Keep your eyes peeled, cause damn yeah. it, I'm gonna be announcing something. Congratulations, my nigga. <laughs> I can I say it or no? <laughs> can I say it? Cause you know it's floating around. Well, what's floating around, Don? Come on, man. Pete Come Davidson on, man. and friends. Hey, Nico's, man. Nico's gonna be on Pete Davidson and friends. Hey, man. So happy to Amazing. hear that you was hey, on that man. dog. Hey, um, man. You know, cause Pete Pete's one of my little, you know was my shorty too so come on bro don't come on man i'm even go extra five minutes don't get me started all I, right if i tell if i tell you how crazy it is all right so you were there you were fucking there for what the, li the little rascals of comedy yes show. yes pete davidson nico white jordan rock matt richards nick alexander shantae wayne Right? Wow, yes, yes. That's a pretty Cheo Williams, lineup. shout out to Cheo. Well, nigga, what? Yeah. yeah. So that was that in 2011. Yeah. Right? On that show. You, was, you remember what happened? Fucking. I, I remember with exactly Jameek, what happened. Jameek I remember was. All, that. Uh, all right, tell it, Nico. Hold on. Let's hear it real quick before you got to so, go. Nigga, 
Derek Gaines ended up closing that show, right? After yeah. after we oh and Matt Richards, my bad. Derek yeah. Gaines went on at the end of that show, right? right. Derek's doing um the He's Anne doing Frank. it, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Then sure enough, me, Pete, and I want to say Jordan went over to Broadway Comedy Club. The other people that are doing it just so happened to be there. That was in 2011. Funny how, you know, full circles and things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who would have thought, huh? Well, he was, just, and uh, uh, at the time, Nico, uh, not Nico, um, uh, Pete was getting heat, and he mm -hmm. asked for a copy of the set. He had a good set. I was Kurt, yeah. And then, and then Jameek was like, yo, just like really like, you know, and, and Pete was a little skinny kid. And Jameek was like, yo, you can't be, yo, I'm going to tell you right now. And I was like, dog, he's 17 years old. Like, if, you, if you're talking about contracts and then he was, because he came, you know, Pete was like, yo, um, this guy's acting like he's going to fuck me up, right? <laughs> Do you remember? Were you there for that? I was there for that. I w we had came downstairs. It was Times Square Art Center when they was had the little green room in the uh, you know, yeah, that yeah, little yeah. side area. Yeah, I yeah. came downstairs. Yeah, I remember we, that. Nigga, yeah. we just got off the elevator. How are you? We you was there too? I wasn't there that night, but I remember Times Square Art Center. And, and I remember walking in because Jay is Jay is tall. So yeah. he was standing up. I want to say you were sitting down, and I remember the word soliloquy being used. <laughs> What, oh, I said, you talking about this whole soliloquy about... <laughs> yeah, see? I got, I'm telling you, I got an elephant's memory. I'll never forget that night. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that, was, that was the best one-off show that we ever did, and yeah. whoever has that tape, yeah. golly, yeah. do you have some shit on your hands? Yeah. I only, I, I, I literally just wish I had that DVD. I want to see that show. And I remember, that, I just remember feeling like he was pushing... He was just trying to rough up Pete. Pete and Davis Pete was like, this guy's trying to, he's trying to. I was like, <laughs> dog, why don't you back the fuck, why don't you back the fuck up? Are you not your fuck? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, never, I need to see that. I need to see that episode. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, Will y'all do that one? Call yeah. me first, please. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, I don't, I, you know, I ain't gonna let y'all niggas get bullied. I was never gonna let that happen. That, that's not something that was gonna happen. Nico, man, thanks for doing the show, bro. I appreciate you. Nothing Family, but truly, I appreciate y'all. Nothing you know, but that. You know what it is. Nothing but that. And like you know I said, we get Barclays. Remember what you asked for. <laughs> I'm going to call all you. All right. I'm coming. All right. I'm coming. All right, family. Love. Oh, I love you. All right. See you, Nico. Harry. See hey. you later. Always good, Nico. Good to see you, bro. Always. Let me Salam grab Salam alaikum, Sultan Hari. Sultan Hari.